So in this video, I'm going to quickly teach you how not to lose your effects for your composite shots in the Hit Film 4 Express video editor. The short um, explanation is that whenever you, you're working co with composite shots, always make sure you have uh, uh, new individual composite shots. Don't just copy it over because if you make a change to one of them, if you, the copy will also uh, change if you apply the effect to it. And so I was working on this kaleidoscopic um, video, and I wanted to save time, so I went ahead and copy, uh, copied a composite shot with some effects, uh, copy and pasted it, and then applied more changes to that same composite shot. The problem with doing that, though, is it overrides, as I've mentioned, all the previous uh, changes you've made before. So when you go ahead to export it, you get a video that doesn't have all the effects that you've uh, applied from before. So for example, let's say I have this uh, video that I was um, using as a source material and then I uh, made this into a composite shot for example. And then I applied some effects to it for example. So let's say to save time I copied this com uh, composite shot and then um, I did more edits to it. Whatever edits I do to this composite shot also apply to this composite shot and so y it messes up any um, uh, work that you've uh, done from before. The better option is, just, uh, is to stick with uh, copies of uh, video clips and make those into new composite shots. You don't want to have one composite shot, but individual new composite sh uh, shots so that a change uh, sticks to that particular individual version of the composite shot. And uh, that's all I wanted to say. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comments below. I'd appreciate if you like and share this video and subscribe to my channel. If you have any uh, problems with the HitFilm4Express video editor and you need some help, go ahead and feel free to ask me. Bye!